Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have created this bronzy um, kind of smoky eye and I also went with some dewy and glowy skin. I do think this look is perfect for any occasion. Um, I do have hooded eyes so anyone out there with hooded eyes you would know how much it sucks to try and create some really nice looks with hooded eyes. But yeah, I still tried my best and I actually like how this turned out. And as long as I keep looking down, um, you'll be able to see it. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So first up, I'm starting with my MAC Paint Pot in Paintly and I'm just applying that to my lid and up onto my brow bone just for a nice base for my eyeshadow. And then I apply my tape for a guideline and go in with a press powder and um, set that paint pot that I did put on first just so all these shadows blend out nicely. Then I go in with Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and apply that as a transition shade. Then going in with Taupe by Bobbi Brown and applying that to my crease area and I do take it up into a little V on the outer portion of my eye. Now going in with Red Brick by MAC and I'm just applying that just below where I applied that taupe color just for a nice shade in the crease and then I go in and blend that out with the same brush that I used before with no extra product on it. Now taking the Chi Chi Nudes palette and I'm going to take that beautiful gold shade, the shimmery one and I'm going to take my Fix Plus by MAC and spray my brush just so I can pick up as much pigment as possible and just apply that to my lid area. Now taking the shadow Camel by Bobbi Brown which is just this beautiful goldy brown shade and I'm running that through my crease area and just blending out those two shadows, the gold and the Toby color just so it all blends out nicely and there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going in with this eye pencil by Rimmel called Bronze which is just a deep bronzy glittery shade. It's absolutely beautiful and so pigmented and I'm just applying that to my upper lash line and my bottom waterline and I do take it up into a little V. And then I'm taking the shade Mocha by Makeup Geek which is just a rich brown color and I'm just pushing that into my upper lash line and also I do wing it out a little bit on that V area. Now going in with Corrupt by Makeup Geek which is just a nice matte black shadow and I applied that to that outer portion, um, taking it into like a V shape and up into the crease a little bit and just making sure that I blend that out really nicely so there's no harsh lines. And you really want to make sure that one eye matches the other eye and you want to get them as close as possible. So as you can see there, I'm just matching up both eyes. Now going in with the shade Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes in Extra Black and I'm just coating my lashes. Then I decided to put on some falsies. I use the Socialize Vamp eyelashes. Then I just went in with a pencil brush and sweeped the shade Camel by Bobbi Brown that we used earlier underneath the lash line and I just brought that gold shimmery shade from the nudes palette um, onto my lower tear duct. Then I just coated my lashes a few times with the same mascara that we used previously. Now moving on to the face, first up I went in with the L'Oreal Lumi Base. I thought a nice glowy illuminous base would be perfect and really match the eye makeup that I had going on. So as you can see, I'm just applying that to my whole face. For foundation, I used the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation. I just didn't want to delve down any of the luminous and use a matte foundation. So that's why I decided to go 
for this foundation. I'm not sure of the shade, but I will link it in the description box down below. I really like this foundation because you can really build up the coverage that you want. And as you can see here, I'm going in and just building up for a nice uh, full coverage. Then I just take my Beauty Complexion Sponge and I just go in and pat out my face just for a nice and flawless finish. For concealer, I used the 24 hour concealer by Maybelline in the shade Ivory and just applied that underneath my eye area and then went in straight away with my Beauty Complexion Sponge and blended that out because this concealer does dry very quickly. Going in with my favorite makeup product ever. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I'm just applying that to my cheekbones, down my jawline, onto my forehead, and the tops of my, no, the bridge of my nose. <laughs> um, just to give my face a little bit of warmth. Then I just go back in with the same concealer and take that down the bridge of my nose onto my cupid's bow, onto my chin and to the tops of my forehead. Like I said before, it does dry very quickly so that's why I decided to do this after and I just go in and blend that out with the same sponge. Now taking my Anastasia contour kit, I'm going to take that banana shade in the middle and I'm just going to set my concealer. Then I'm just going to take that middle bottom shade which is the shade Fawn and I'm just going to really chisel out my cheekbone area and then also take it up onto my temple, down my jawline, down the bridge of my nose and just below my bottom lip just to make it look a little bit more fuller and a little bit more plumpier. For blush, I decided to use Angel by NYX, which is just a beautiful natural blush. And I took that onto the apples of my cheeks and just blended it up into my contour. I still felt like my face was a little bit flat, so I went in with the shade Havana from the Anastasia Contour Kit and just ran that down the cheekbones, onto the forehead and down the jawline just for a little bit more definition in the face and a little bit more warmth. For highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia highlighter in Peach Nectar and I'm just placing that onto the tops of my cheekbones, um, onto my cupid's bow and down the bridge of my nose and on the tops of my nose and also taking that onto my temple and onto my chin. I just wanted to be really glowy and highlighted for this look. Now moving on to lips, I'm taking the lip length, the lip lip the lip liner, saw by MAC, I eventually got it out, and I'm just lining my lips. I do overdraw my lips because who doesn't these days? Then I go in with the lipstick butter from NYX Cosmetics and just apply that to my lips. Then I just go back in with the lip liner saw and just define my lips a little bit more and just overdraw them a little bit more. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!